Welcome to online GDC classes. Today we are going to have a basic idea on chromatography. Chroma means color and graphene means to write. So chromatography technique is used to separate and identify the components of a mixture. So the basic idea of this chromatographic process is that distinct compounds have different properties of adsorption, solubility, affinity, different ion exchange. So stationary phase and mobile phase, both are going to be very, very important on these. We are going to separate these mixture of components. So mobile phase means a solvent that flows through the supporting medium. Stationary phase means a layer or kind coating on the supporting medium and supporting medium means a solid interface. Okay. So basic terms used in this chromatography technique are adsorption, interaction of the solute molecules with the surface of the stationary phase, whereas the eluent is nothing but the mobile phase and elution is the motion of the mobile phase through the stationary phase. So elution time is the time taken for the compounds to separate on these columns. So these are you know, two terms we are going to use for the normal phase and reverse phase. Normal phase means unmodified stationary phase where polar solutes interact strongly and run slowly, whereas reverse phase means polar solutes run fast. That is in the reverse order. Resolution means the degree of separation of these different solutes. So it can be increased by using a longer stationary phase and say thereby we can increase the RF value. That is retention factor. Distance traveled by the solute divided by the distance traveled by the solvent. Okay. Coming to the classification of this chromatography on the basis of interaction of the solute to the stationary phase as well as on the basis of chromatographic column and on the basis of physical state of the mobile phase they have divided in different categories of the classification like adsorption, partition, ion exchange, molecular exclusion and the gas chromatography, HPLC, liquid chromatography. Okay. Coming to the adsorption chromatography, if you see the principle on this, utilizes a mobile liquid or gaseous phase that is adsorbed onto the surface of a stationary solid phase. Stationary phase here means adsorbent field into a tube and mobile phase, various solvents we are going to use so that they are going to buy directly bind to the surface of this supporting medium. Okay. So partition chromatography means it is the stationary phase as well as mobile phase. Both are going to be either liquid or gas. Okay, that means the partition is going to take place between the liquid or gas stationary phase and the mobile phase is also a liquid. So solute equilibrates between this mobile phase and stationary liquid phase. Coming to this ion exchange chromatography, if you see the resins, okay, so positively charged proteins are going to bind to the negatively charged beads and thereby the resins, whatever we are going to use those as stationary phases here used to covalently attach anions or cations on it. So the solute ions of this opposite charge in this molecule liquid phase are attracted to the resin by electrostatic force. So ion exchange mechanism separates the analytes based on their respective charges. So adsorption of the molecules on this Solid support is driven by the ionic interaction between the oppositely charged anti groups as well as in the sample molecule and functional ligand on the support. So the number and location of the charges on these functional groups are also very very important in separation followed by this ion exchange chromatography. So molecular exclusion chromatography you see also known as gel permeation or gel filtration chromatography lacks the attractive interaction between the solute and the stationary phase and this liquid or gaseous phase passes through a porous gel which separates the molecule according to its size. Okay, so this causes the larger molecules to pass through the column at faster rate than smaller ones. That means larger solute molecules, smaller solute molecules. So based on the size of the molecules, the separation is going to be seen there. So if you see the column chromatography, so column chromatography is going to be separated where stationary phase is held in a narrow tube through which the mobile phase is forced and the uh, through a column. Okay, so the different solvents are going to be used for eluting the compounds. So paper chromatography is also similar to that which uses filter paper strips as carrier of our inert support. Okay, the factor governing this separation of mixture of solutes in paper chromatography is mainly the partition. That means the water adsorbed on the cellulose fibers in the stationary phase itself and second one is the organic solvent flows through the paper. Okay, on the stationary phase itself. So that's why the principle involved here is the partition. So coming to thin layer chromatography, if you see involves a stationary phase of a thin layer of adsorbent like silica gel, alumina or cellulose on a flat inert substrate. The principle of here is adsorption. Solvent flows through because of the capillary action. That's why you are going to see the uh, retention factor there. Okay. Coming to the gas chromatography principle, it is also called as gas liquid chromatography. The partition equilibrium of the analyte between solid stationary phase as well as the mobile phase as gas. Here we are going to use helium as the mobile phase. So stationary phase is adhered to the inside of this small diameter glass tube or a solid matrix inside a larger metal tube. Okay. So capillary columns are going to be used, very very lengthy columns are going to be used in GC. 
So coming to this liquid chromatography, the separation of this technique is going to be based on this partition. That means mobile phase is a liquid as well as stationary phase is a uh, supporting media, but the stationary phase is actually it is a liquid only. So between the liquid phase and liquid mobile phase, you are going to see the partition chromatography. Example HPLC, high performance liquid chromatography. Super critical chromatography is nothing but here the mobile phase is a fluid. Okay, super fluid chromatography is also we are going to call it, it as. And finally, the affinity chromatography, if you see, based on selective non covalent interaction between an analyte and specific molecules, you are going to see the separation here. Molecular recognition groups like affinity ligands, which are covalently attached to agarose or cellulose beads, we are going to see. And affinity ligands binds to the analyte selectively and reversibly. So interaction with this highly specialized molecular recognition systems which are attached to the stationary phase and this mobile phase is also going to play two distinct roles here. It is going to decrease the interaction between this. Thank you students and for more such videos please log on to the GDC classes English.